I'd like to start out by saying I respectfully acknowledge that I'm standing on the unceded traditional territory of the Comox First Nation. And now let's take a look at how we can access information on J. You might be faced with a line like this and you're not sure what's going on. Well, that's entirely natural when you're starting out. So you can go up to Help, the Help menu. I'll blow that up a little bit. And F1 will take you to Vocabulary. NuVoc is Shift F1. Context Sensitive is um, Command F1. NuVoc Context Sensitive is Shift Command F1. This is in the uh, J901 version, um, but let's just try a few things. So, uh, F1, that takes me to the vocabulary, and this is the old school vocabulary. It's what a lot of people are used to, but it's also no longer being updated. So if you want the new vocabulary, which is NuVoc, this is where you find it. And uh, it's, it's updated, it's got all the information you could need. Um, if you notice things that are wrong, you can make mention of them, they'll get fixed, and it's part of the wiki. So it's really the one that you want to be using. In fact, when you go to J902, NuVoc is the only one that you can access directly through the menus. Um, of course, you can always get back to the old ones through these links here. Um, they're available here for uh, people who really want the old stuff because that is what people are uh, used to. Um, oh yes, and then context sensitive. So if I highlight this and Command F1, there's the old uh, vocabulary uh, describing the sparse verb. And if I Command Shift F1, there's new voc. And so I've got all that information there that's available to me as I'm trying to learn my way through this, including, I might say, Learning J down here is linked uh, by Roger Stokes, which is actually a pretty good uh, introduction to sparse arrays if you are interested in that. Anyway, those are some ways that you can quickly get resources uh, online. Now, of course, you have to be online. You have to have a browser and you have to be able to access the internet to do this. But if you can do those things, then you've got a really quick hands-on keystroke way of accessing the uh, vocabulary, and if you forget, it's all under the help menu. Hope that helps you out.